Hello everyone, it's Mammy's here, and today I'll be reading Peppa Pig, Princess Peppa. Let's get started. Princess Peppa. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. Mummy Pig tucks them in and turns out the light. Good night, little piggies, she whispers. Downstairs. Granny and Grandpa Pig arrive to have dinner with Mummy and Daddy Pig. They all sit down to eat, but suddenly they hear noises coming from upstairs. Is that Peppa and George? asks Grandpa Pig. Looks like the little piggies aren't sleeping after all. Mummy Pig goes upstairs to check on Peppa and George. They are wide awake. Peppa, George, quickly now, hop into bed, says Mummy Pig. You're making lots of noise, and it's too late for you to be up. We aren't sleepy yet, said Peppa. Will you tell us a story? asked Peppa. We promise to go to sleep after a story. All right, says Mummy Pig. Once upon a time, there was a princess. Peppa jumps in. Oh yes, says Mummy Pig. Once upon a time, there was a courageous princess named Peppa. She lived in a castle with Sir George, the brave knight. And the princess and the knight had a cook who made the most delicious food ever. At Peppa. Of course," said Mummy Pig. She made cupcakes and cookies and a jelly tower," says Peppa. That was the prince's favorite food. The princesses and the knight invite their friend Prejo Pony, and they all ate the yummy desserts. Yes," says Mummy Pig. And afterward, everyone was so full they fell right to sleep. The end. Then they woke up, cries Peppa, and they invited a wizard to the castle. A wizard, says Mummy Pig. Yes, says Peppa, and he did a big magical show. But then, all of a sudden, a big green dragon came to the castle. Peppa continues. He he he! Laughs George. Grrr. Oh no! Says my pig. How scary! The dragon wasn't scary. Says Peppa. He was just very hungry. So the king came and ordered the cook to make a picnic. Says Peppa. He did. My pig asks with a yawn. Yes. Says Peppa. The cook, the wizard, the princess, the knight, the king, Pedro Pony, and the dragon sat down to a big feast. And then they went to sleep. Mumbers, Mummy Pig, as her head drops to one side. No, says Peppa Pig. Then they had a party. The princess arrived to the party in a beautiful carriage. Says Peppa, she came with her friend Susie Sheep. Sir George pulled the carriage with his horse. All of their friends came to the castle to dance. There was Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. He 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 he. Downstairs, Daddy Pig, Granny Pig, and Grandpa Pig are wondering what is taking Mummy Pig so long. Maybe we should see what's going on upstairs," says Daddy Pig. "I think I hear snoring," says Granny Pig. "Mummy must have finally gotten Peppa and George to fall asleep." Snort, snort, hee hee hee. But Peppa and George are not snoring. Mummy Pig is. Hee hee hee. It looks like Princess Peppa. Is the best at telling bedtime stories," says Daddy Pig. The end.
I hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe and your notifications bell for more videos and to let you know when we upload more videos. So, uh, I hope you uh, eat a lot of food because uh, we need to protect ourselves from the COVID thing. And make sure to drink your water or else you'll die in the most painful of pains. Well, uh, that's it for now. Bye-bye.